Hello, welcome. I think I'm live. Yes, it looks like it. I think my camera's working. That's always a good sign. Um, sometimes it doesn't want to. I guess it's been giving me grief with the focus. So I'm trying to find the right spot for it. But and then I've been moving it out of my way because this is the properly lit spot for photographing the layout after it the sun goes down, which I've been doing because I've been posting my layouts at night. So I think moving it all the time is not helping me, <laughs> but that's okay. We'll figure it out. All right, should we get started here? All right, well, welcome to Paper Root Scrapbooking. I'm Nadine. And um, I have been working through the month of March on this challenge that I'm calling March Madness because I'm incorporating the two challenges of Chrissy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches, Series 14, and the wonderful, fabulous, very exciting challenge game of Calvin Ball over at the Scrap Happy um, membership group. Uh, you don't have to have a membership to play along with Calvin Ball. Calvin Ball is for everyone. Used to be hosted by Get It Scrapped, if you guys remember the days back when Debbie Hodge was in charge. And when um, that company folded, they passed on the torch to the Scrap Happy members. So here is the sketch that we're working with today from Chrissy's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches. And it is by Rebecca. Rebecca Becca, it says. So... Thank you, Rebecca, for the inspiration. Very exciting. Um, so it has like this diagonal design to it. And I've already gone ahead and gotten started. So I'm just going to set my little intro piece aside and show you where I am at. Okay, so before I came on camera, I just decided I was going to get some of the basics down. And then we would embellish together and do the Calvin Ball list together because that seems to be the fun part right now. Um, so I, what I did was I picked a navy background and this one happens to be an embossed cardstock. It's got this like floral leaf in the background. It's very pretty. And then I took this, um, so I pulled that off out of my cardstock stash. And then this pink cardstock was with the collection that I pulled, which was, this one from close to my heart and it is called, let me see what the branding strip says. It's called Claire. So it's an older collection from 2012 and I don't have a ton of it left, but I do have a little bit and I decided to go ahead and pull that one. And that's where I started was with these two sheets of cardstock. And I wanted to do, I didn't like the plain um, pink, so I did some stenciling. I took this stencil from Vicki Booten's Storyteller uh, Radiate Stencils, and I picked this one because it was a repeatable pattern, so I could like layer it up and then move it over and measure, like put it on top of where it had the same pattern, and then the pattern would continue, so that's why I picked that one. So I have, oh, and I used the Barn Door Distress Ink. So although it's pink in the background, I put red on top of it and I feel like that gave it a little, there's also red, pink and red in this collection. And I felt like that gave it like that tone on tone feel, even though pink and red are not necessarily the same color, they're definitely part of the same color family. Okay, so we did some stenciling. I'm set that aside. Next up, I grabbed um, from the sketch, I picked out what papers I had left in the collection. I only had one 12 by 12 sheet left and I cut it in half diagonally and put it down and then I layered up, tore and layered up some scraps on top of it in the different patterns that I still had left. And I really like how that turned out. And I feel like it really represents the sketch pretty well. So that's kind of cool, hey? Okay, so I am going to start gluing things down. Does this have, it doesn't really say where it's from. It just says Vine Navy. So 
doesn't give us any more information than I had before. Just out of my cardstock stash. Has a beautiful embossed, dry embossed pattern on the back. Very subtle, but I do like that it adds a little bit of texture and visual interest to the background of the layout. Uh -oh. There's like glue stuck to the trigger thing on there. It's gonna get all over everywhere. Um, this way, I didn't do the right bottom corner of the stenciling because that's where I'm going to put my triangle pieces. There, that fits in there pretty good, hey? Okay, and so like I said, I just layered up my scraps onto this triangle piece. Um, so I did cut this one in half diagonally and then layered up the other scraps on top. And that's what's gonna go in where this part of the sketch is. I really, I know I've said this before, but I'm gonna say it again. One of my favorite things about these 30 days of sketches is that I, I don't know about other people, but I tend to like default to certain ways to lay paper down. And I really like that other people, um, like the sketch creators will often like intentionally make it like a little bit different so that people are going to try new things. And I really love that because I like to try new things and it gives me new, new ideas and fresh ways to do things. So when I go to teach a class, I'm a little bit less boring. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So that part is done. That's the base of the layout, which basically um, follows along with the sketch. Now, according to this sketch, the way I saw it, and I guess it can be anything, but I saw a four by four photo and two two by two photos, but I only had one photo for what I wanted to say here. And so I took that two by two spot up as a journaling spot. So I had a scrap of this Navy cardstock left in that um, collection kit. And I put my four by four photo on and then I put my journaling block on there. And I think that that's how I'm going to just mimic that part of the sketch. So um, before I lay that down, though, I kind of wanted to do this because I in here, there's like a banner piece that looks like it runs in behind the photo. But I didn't have a long enough piece left of this. So I just cut it. I kind of made the banner and then I cut it so that I could just tuck it in behind there and make it look like it goes the whole direction. Same with this. So the other piece that is in here is this like little tabby piece that looks like it sticks out the right hand side. I wanted it to go cross like it was like sitting on there actually. And um, I had this piece of pink left over and then I had this border sticker, but it was from this sticker sheet, which isn't part of the actual collection. It's a Teresa Collins one, but it had like this cork sticker piece on here. So I was like, you know what? That's okay. I'll just cut it and put some of it on the left and some of it on the right. So then when I put it in behind here, it looks like it goes all the way across, right? So that's my little tricky trick and nobody is going to know except for me and everybody who watches the video, I guess. But once it's all finished, it's not going to look like there's anything crazy happening on there. So I think the first thing that I want to do is lay down that pink piece and I'm going to grab a T-square. Um, maybe. I don't know what I did with my T-square. It's a mystery. It's a mystery T-square. I don't think I had it out yet, which is weird because it's not in the drawer where it's supposed to be. It's in the wrong drawer. That won't help me. All right. So I want it roughly here. So I'm going to remove this and I'm going to put, and I already inked all the edges. So on everything that was pinkish like this, I did the barn door color. And then on everything that was the blue, I did chipped sapphire. 
And then on the brown stuff, I used walnut stain. So, um, and then on here, I did chip sapphire, red, no, what is it called? Barn door, chip sapphire, and barn door so that it kind of alternated. So that's that. Then I want to do this one. Or actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down next and then I'll tuck the other thing kind of in behind, right? If I don't put it right along the top and the bottom, it should be able to just tuck. So how do I want this on here? And the navy card stock that came with the Close to My Heart collection was a lot darker than the one back here, but I feel like they complement each other. I don't think they compete with each other. So I left it like that. Thought about not using the navy because of that, but decided against, I decided it was fine. And then this one. So this I'm going to tuck in behind the photo so that the word view sticks kind of above that. And that's my title or the beginnings of my title up here, this view. And then this one, I think I'm going to, oh, I also should tell you, I had also stamped some stitching marks. I used a different stitching stamp than I did before. And it is from the same Close to My Heart set, but it's this little one instead of the one with the bigger zigzags. And I just thought that went better. So flipping things around, I'm going to just measure up that the top part of this, what looks like this banner aligns with the bottom part of the banner. And it looks like it's all one piece if it's lined up, right? There we go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. There. Now it looks like those pieces just run in behind the photo mat. All right. And that was as far as I got before it was time to turn on the camera. So I think that we are going to work our way through. You can maybe see a little bit more of my process of how I decide what to bring in. Um, so what I usually do is I usually go through whatever came in that the kit that I pulled. So sometimes it's a collection kit, but most of the time it's like a collection kit plus things that I've added to it. So in this case, we'll start with the stuff that was with the collection kit. So that includes these sequins were in there. It's not part of it. There were these stickers left over. Um, I do kind of like the florals that are in here. Maybe I can use those. Hmm. I don't want the strips, the hearts maybe. Yeah. You know, I, I actually think this little heart would be cute on here. And this one might be fun up here, but I would like to pop it up. So, and then I think that this flower will be cool in behind here. And then I'm going to grab some foam. Oops. Just drop some foam on the floor. So I'm just using this fun foam stuff. And it is just the stuff that you buy for like kids crafts. And the reason I'm choosing that is because um, the back of this is already a sticker. So only one half of the, um, like one side of the foam is 
sticky. And so when I use it on a, the back of a sticker, I don't have to add any adhesive because the sticker has adhesive and then the foam has adhesive on the other side. So those hearts have some stitching lines too. So do I want this little piece? This is kind of cute. I could probably put that somewhere. And I think that's it for that one. I don't want any of the borders. And this one just has a border and a flower left. So I'm going to use the flower. I think I'm going to put it here for now. So these are going to go back into... Then these also came with this collection and they are a little bit unique. They are like burlap stickers and they are called clear compliments. So now this is what I was thinking. A lot of this is like little girl focused, but I did think that if I left the title as just this view, that's fine too. But then I could also put this view makes me smile. But now I'm starting to think that might be a little bit much. What do you think? Hmm. Maybe if I pull this banner down a little bit, it would not be so weird on there, first of all. This view makes me smile. Yeah, I do like it. Okay, I'm probably not going to use this is me, cool chick, giggles, friendship, or sassy, but I might, I think I'm going to use this burlap sticker and I don't like it that high up but what if I did like this okay now I'm just gonna make sure the other ones are in the same line is that okay oh. <laughs> stuck this very sticky adhesive on there okay so I don't think I'm going to use anything else from that side so I'm going to slide these back into the packaging and then I'll look at the other so one of the things I did notice about this is that it has flowers, but I already took flowers from the sticker sheets. It also has a butterfly, which I could use definitely to bring that burlap feel up here, right? Might have to slide a little bit of foam under there too, so that it's not sticking down too hard. There go and then um I did think too like this little piece is just like a leftover of something but I thought it would probably fit right in where my journaling ends which it does which is kind of cool and then these flowers I thought about but I already got flowers on there there's buttons and there's this giant crown but I feel like the crown really goes with like the princess vibe. I don't want the big butterfly. And I kind of want to save the princess crown for where it says I am a princess. If I want to add a crown, I can get it somewhere else. But those were the things that were on here that are also on the list for Calvin Ball. So I thought I might include them. And hmm. Don't know. 
or do I just want one button? Maybe I only want one button. Or this side. Because now we've got the fabric pieces across here and one here, and then we got one still up in that corner, which kind of covers it. So that can go back in the bag now. This was added in there. Um, what I might take from this besides the cork border piece is that I might steal this cork piece to put cork down in more than one spot, which I could put right here because it's that circly bit. I am going to ink in the brown because it's kind of white on the edge of that sticker and I'll probably just add a little bit of adhesive because it doesn't feel super sticky. There. What else? Um, oh, I know what else I was thinking is a word sticker because that's also word phrase sticker is also on there. Um, I already have notes up here. Oh, life is beautiful would be cute. That's a good word phrase sticker right here. And it's kind of a neutral color, so I think it could go just about anywhere. Anything else on here that I need? I don't think so. Although this where it says number one has a grid on it, and I know that that's one of the things too. So maybe I'll cut probably both sides of it. All right, and then we got some sequins there from the Close to My Heart kit also, but we'll leave that to the end. Um, I did pull this out, but I don't think, this isn't the focus of my story anyways, so I don't feel like I need it, and it doesn't really go color-wise. It doesn't clash, but it's not part of the deal. Then I have these. These are from a company, a Canadian company called Simply Stated Designs. If you haven't looked before, go check her stuff out. It's so beautiful. And she does patterned papers and die cut packs. And she produces her own and ships it out herself. I just thought one of these little like rainy ones would be cute because I was talking about the rain rolling in and us needing to find a place to have lunch. So, um, kind of looking to see which one goes best with my layout. That one's really, they're really big. That's the downside. But I'm thinking, like, what if we did something like this? That's kind of cute and it fits and the colors all coordinate. There's nothing crazy in there. Okay, that one it is. So yeah, these rainbows are so cute, hey? And you know what else these would go really nicely with is those boho baby lines from Simple Stories. And then I did have this little bit that um, was just loose in there and I thought it might go somewhere too. It could go here where it says notes captured. Yep, I think so. And this is a word phrase, but it's not a sticker. And I think the Calvin Ball, excuse me, list actually says sticker on it. There we go. Okay. So that is where we are at. Now let's grab that list out and see what else we want to pull to add to this wild and crazy game of ours. So I'm going to grab a sticky. I thought I'd done that before, but I did not. Did you guys just hear my stomach growl? I should probably go have supper. Wow. Um, okay. 
So from the first page of my Calvin Ball Adventure checklist, we have the layout stuff. So I'm making a one page layout. I am making a video. And what else do I have on here? I'm going to post to the gallery and to Chrissy's Beautiful Life Facebook group and to Instagram and then also on YouTube. So that's always six points right off the hop. Oops, that's right this one, set that aside. Then we're going to start tackling this. So the first thing I'm noticing is that star is on here and I feel like you can add a star just about from anywhere. Let's see if we can find a little star in our things, in our thingamajiggers. Here's one right here. Look at that. Wouldn't that be fun? Perfect star. All right. There are very few layouts that I feel like I couldn't add a star to. What do you guys think? So this one just happens to be a Brad. Look at that on there. Polka dot paper. So I don't know if you can tell, but that floral paper is a polka dot paper. So that one is... So now I have a star and a polka dot paper. I was going to ink the edges of this in just the brown walnut stain distress ink and get it on there before I lose it. Because it keeps escaping. There we go. Do I even? There we go. Okay. What else do we have? Star, polka dot paper, and arrow. Not yet, but we can certainly add one. Let's see. What do we have? These ones are really stark black. We don't want that. Do I have a white version? Probably. Just have to move some things. Hang on. So I was looking at some acrylic pieces that I had out. But they do not have the white arrows, but there's one right here I think we can use. So something like that. So we've got an arrow now. We've got some handwritten journaling. I just used a blue Zig Writer, the smaller side of it from Kurataki to do my journaling on top of like a journaling card. I can show you what they're from. They're really old though. But I know some people like to know. So it's from this. This is from Jenny Bolin from 2009. And it's just a little like booklet that has a bunch of different journaling cards in it. I've used a ton of them, but one, okay. Seems to be one of those things that just keeps going on. So, um, what do we say? Handwritten journaling, a heart. Yes, we got a heart up here. A stamp. I used a stamp to do my stitching. A date. Oh my. I have not put a date. Let's see what date this photo was taken. It'll only take a moment and I'll grab my date stamp. It might be from the date that's already set on here, but I am not 100% certain of that. It might be the next day. It's from the same trip as when we did the, um, what do you call them? The underground tour that I was scrapbooking yesterday. So let's just have a quick look. And, hmm. It 
says uh, March 27th. So it was the same day. So I can just leave the same date on the stamp that we used yesterday. Get that onto my layout. March 27, 2017. So that's cool. I couldn't remember if we went to the market a day after the same day as that, but now we know. That's what happens when you don't scrapbook it for several years, right? Okay, so now we have a date. Striped paper. Yes, we do have that. Um, I, I'm considering these to be stripes. Stitching. Yeah, we got some stitching there. There's some stitching on the heart. Uh, butterfly. We got a butterfly. We've got torn paper for sure. What about a paper clip? That would be a fun, easy thing to throw on here, wouldn't it? Um... I have this little bundle of things that I pulled out. I think one of them could probably. This is a fun one. It's kind of that pinkish, what is that called? Rose gold. I feel like that could go on here. Oh my gosh, you guys, I hope you cannot hear my stomach. It is so insanely loud right now. Oh, yeah. Don't skip lunch and then eat a late supper. It's not good for you. Okay. There. I kind of want it to cover like both of these things. Anyways, it's going to go on here somewhere. Like that? Something like that. Paper clip check. Lace. No, but I could throw a doily on here. What doilies do I have? I have all those little mini ones that I got at the store the other day. They're so fun. Check these out. If you haven't seen them already, they're so fun. And they are from um, Doodlebug. They are a Doodlebug product, which is super fun. I am going to put this one in behind my rainbow. Not behind my cork scallop. Uh oh. No, don't wreck. They are pretty fragile, though, doilies. Hey, when you work with them, they're not super hardy for people like me who like to glue things down and pick them back up and glue them down and pick them up and glue them down and pick them up. Anywho, there is my doily. Do I like it there, though? You know what? I'm not really loving it. Hmm. Maybe it needs to move before the glue settles. Okay. I think I want it down here. Look at me just like ripping this up like it's, it's not going to wreck anything. It totally is. It's really sticky. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking I'm just going to move Smile out of my way. Yep, that's honest to God, my stomach. Like, what the heck is happening? I hope I'm not getting sick. Okay. Um, hey, nobody got time for that. Speaking of time, tomorrow I will not be going live. Or I could do it in the morning, maybe? I don't know. We'll see what happens. I would have to get up early and do it. Because we are having company tomorrow. Maybe I could get up and do it before everybody comes over. We're having, I want, because I do want to finish the 30 days, but it's Easter Saturday tomorrow, and we are having um, everybody who's around. So, like my parents, my husband's parents, um, one of our, two of our kids are coming home tomorrow, which I'm extra excited about. I thought it was just going to be the one and his girlfriend. And the other one has decided to come, even though his girlfriend is working and can't come with, which I'm kind of sad about, but I understand. It's hard to give up those uh, 
high paying shifts on the holiday weekends when you're in university. You know what I'm saying? Poor kid. But anyways, that poor kid works so hard. I just, I can't even tell you how proud I am of not just my boys, but the girls that they chose. They're just such amazing women. Blessed. So blessed. Okay. So, you know what? I'm not loving that little pink. Let's try this one. This one's kind of a key version of a clip. I don't like it on there either. I'm not really sure what to do. What to do, what to do. Maybe I need to move this. Hmm. Okay, I have an idea, but it's going to require me to move a bunch of things. So I'm just going to set it down here for now, and then I'll move everything later. It's going to go under here, and then my heart, and oh, it won't take long. Okay, there we go. This is going to go here instead, because I just didn't like the different colors on the metals, like this and this was bugging me. So here we go. I also thought this might be cute over here, which it kind of is. And then this could go under that blue little scribbly bit there. Okay. Anyway, I should stop fussing. I can fuss after. I did get a doily on there, didn't I? Okay. So point for a doily. Um, I need some washi. Washi is super easy to, to add to a layout. So I'm just going to grab something simple. What is simple? This is simple. I don't really like that pattern for this particular spot. Let's see what else do I have. I could do... These are cute. This is hearts. What is this? Like little chevrons maybe? I don't think I've even used this one before. There we go. That's cute. So how about right there yep. just put like that for now we've got washi we've got a cut file no i did not use a cut file a sketch yeah we're using this fun sketch from bev no, Rebecca, sorry. Sorry, Rebecca. Um, use up a product. Okay, while I was laying down all of these, I did finish an ATG thing, but I changed it off camera because I, Lord knows I've changed enough of them while I was recording. Um, so that counts. Uh, fussy cutting. Is there anything on here that I fussy cut? I do not think so. But I was going to add a camera. Let me see. And I think... The cameras that I have that I was thinking of were fussy cut pieces. I was also thinking of these tickets because they are the same color as that heart. And I want to bring that color down. I have, I don't know if the, is the camera too orange? What do you think? Maybe it should go up here where captured is. I think it's too orangey though. Maybe I should use the pink one. Do I have a pink one? But that ticket is also fussy cut, so that counts. Pink, there we go. Something like that. Where the captured is. It's going to go up here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Somewhere there.
Put down the embellishment. Fussy cutting. Yes, fussy cut tag. See how it's got patterned paper on the back? And a fussy cut camera. It's got patterned paper on the back. So, film strips. Ooh, could totally get that on here. What is my little pack of film strips from 49 and Market? All sorts of fun stuff in here. Let's see if I got a good white one I can use. Oh, great. Ooh, this one's good. What's that? Okay. I'm going to put some adhesive on the one side. And then it's going to go tucked under. Something like that. There. Okay, film strips on here now. Memorabilia, no. Uh, what else we got? Grid. There's a little grid on this little bit. That's why we picked it. Rain. There's rain at the end of our rainbow. A bunny rabbit. A plaid. Nope, didn't pick plaid. Banner or pennant flag. We made a big banner here. Uh, frame. No. Frog. Wood veneer. Easy to add a wood veneer. Anything, really. Let's see what we got. How about... Some little... I don't like those. What else could we put on here? Could do a little wood veneer bird. Where did he go? I just saw one. Ooh, here's a geotag. I could add that. It's the colors of our layout. Um, put hexagons. I think they're also on the list. What else do we got? Oh yeah, let's do it. Hexagons, a bird, got all kinds of stuff happening here. I would like three hexagons though. If I'm gonna put a hexagon, there should be three of them. Okay. So we've got hexagons, or sorry, wood veneer is what we're at. Gears, I don't think this is, although, this would have gears, wouldn't it? I don't know. Maybe to go with the other metals, we could put one here. Let's see. Do we have a gear in that color? Most of the way. Um, it's that more gel kind of gold color. I might have used all of those ones. They were my favorites. There we go. See, that one's two gold. What if I put like this? Yeah, that's pretty close. It's kind of, kind of look at little heart looking, doesn't it? That's cute. Okay. So we've got a little gear. Um, so we're going to check that off. Then we've got vellum, no pockets, acetate. Our film strip is acetate. And we've got a die cut. Yeah, um, that rainbow was a die cut piece. And a bird. I just added a little wood veneer bird on there. Chipboard. I don't think I used anything that was chipboard today. Green. No. Ribbons. No. Punches. Hmm. No, but if I grab one of my viewfinders... I could use a punch with that. Colors do I have on here? Let's see. Let's grab the neutral one, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it can go down here. So we've 
got that. We also want a label of sorts. Since it's going to ask us for one at some point. Let's see. Okay, so we got two. Punch. Yeah, I used a punch for my viewfinder. Crown. I think we're going to skip the crown. Silver. No, that was not on here. Nouveau drops. Hexagons. We got some wood veneer hexagons. Put away five layouts. Use cut aparts. No. Bling and rhinestones. No, but that would be an easy add. Let's see what I got. Let's use a couple of these. So I feel like I could just put a couple in our little flowers down here. So we got rhinestones, bling, coffee and tea. No, brads. Yes, our star is a brad. So we have rhinestones, brads, um, books, black and white photos, ampersands. There's an ampersand in my journaling. Does that count? I think so. And a house, a clock, faith, staples. Easy to add a staple on here. Let's do that. Um, there we go. How's that? Now that little captured won't escape me. It keeps falling off my page. Okay. So we got a staple on there now. A tab, enamel dots, rub-ons, Close to my heart stamps and paper. So that's one. And a typewriter, a ledger. Did I use a ledger paper? I did not. Uh, wood grain, uh, doodles, no. Uh, eggs, specialty papers, nope. Sunshine, a speech bubble, and triangles. I, those papers are all triangles, so I'm going to count that. Almost done, guys. One more page of Calvin Ball helping me embellish my layout. So much fun. Avocados, flowers. We definitely got flowers. Um, sequins. Yes, I'm going to be using these sequins from the collection kit that are already adhesive backed. So those will go sprinkled around my layout after. Um viewfinder I'm gonna add that one stenciling I did that whole card stock just about in stenciling photo corners no splatter no it didn't do that tag no nope. skipped it um camera yes we got one of those on there beach b llama gold well we're gonna use some gold sequins and hedgehogs tickets yeah got a little ticket there and aqua or teal did not make it on this layout. A bow? No. A leaf? Also no. Pears? No. Buttons? Yes, I used that fabric button right there. Multi photo? No. Mushrooms? Uh, oh, mushrooms off the list. Trees? Keys? Yes, I used a key shaped paper clip. Twine? Eyelets, birdhouses, labels. Well, I pulled this label. I feel like I can definitely get it on here somewhere. Even if it's just like inside of our little cluster here. Somewhere. What else? Word phrase sticker. Yeah, we did that. And texture paste. No. Pot of gold, ink the edges, definitely did that. Selfie photo, cats, dogs, navy blue, got that. Sports embellishments, ice creams, what else? Circles, yes, my background is all stenciled in circles. A dragonfly, no. Clouds, yes. Is there a cloud? Maybe not. 
Maybe it's just a rainbow. Did we not put a cloud? Maybe we should put a cloud. I could grab a little wood veneer cloud. Let me grab one. Um, where did I put that little bucket? There it is. I have these little mini clouds in my wood veneer that I could add. And I know they're in here. Oh my goodness, okay. Here we go. So we'll put some clouds there. Oops. Well, that's fun. Clouds. What else we got? Um, circles, squares. Did we put squares? My photo is a square. Dragonflies, clouds, three plus patterned papers. One, two, three, four. So that's definitely one of them. Um, a geotag, yes. Matt, your photos, yes. What else? Uh, symbol effect technology, mode of transportation, foam. Yeah, I put some foam on that heart. And masculine theme, no cork. Yeah, we got some cork there and there. What else? We got fish, scalloped edges. Yes, our cork border is scalloped edges. And bricks, no, baskets, pastel colors. Well, I would say that pink is pastel. Puffy stickers, snails, turtles, musical or mat, um, or symbols. Chevrons, we got some chevron paper here. And we've got deer or dragonflies. Is dragonfly on here twice? Yeah, it is. 65 and 89. Huh. Okay, interesting. So that is my layout for today. Thank you to everyone who came to watch. I very much appreciate having you guys here. And I hope that um, everybody has a great rest of your night. And I will, um, you know what? I think I'm going to come back tomorrow morning. I want to get this um, series wrapped up. And I think that I'm just going to do it in the morning because that's going to be the only time I have. So uh, let's see. What time should I come on here? How about we say 930 Mountain Standard Time? Okay. So if you want to watch live, that's what time I'll be here. If not, I would love it if you'd watch the replay. If you are watching from the future, I would love it if you wanted to leave a comment and ask me any questions. I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. I hope you all have a great evening. Bye for now.